Once upon a time, in the serene landscapes of ancient Japan, there stood a monastery known as the Temple of Tranquil Waters. Nestled amidst the lush mountains, this temple was famous for its wise Zen master, Master Hakuin, whose teachings were revered far and wide. Pilgrims from distant lands would travel to seek his guidance on the path to enlightenment and genuine happiness. In a village not far from the temple lived a young man named Takashi. Despite having all the comforts of life, a loving family, a successful business, and good health, Takashi felt a persistent void within. Happiness seemed elusive, a fleeting shadow he could never quite grasp. Stories of Master Hakuin's wisdom intrigued him. And he decided to undertake the journey to the Temple of Tranquil Waters, hoping to find the answers he so desperately sought. Upon reaching the temple, Takashi was greeted by a serene ambience. The gentle sound of flowing water from the temple's stream, the rustling of leaves in the wind, and the harmonious chanting of monks created an aura of peace. He approached a monk and expressed his desire to meet Master Hakuin. The monk led him to a tranquil garden where the master was meditating beneath a blossoming cherry tree, Master Hakuin, Takashi began, bowing deeply, I seek the secret to genuine happiness. Despite having everything, I feel an emptiness within, Master Hakuin opened his eyes and gazed at Takashi with a knowing smile. To find true happiness, you must give up certain things that cloud your mind and spirit. Stay with us, and I will teach you the five things you need to let go, Takashi agreed eagerly, and thus began his journey under Master Hakuin's tutelage. The First Lesson, Letting Go of Attachment The next morning, Master Hakuin took Takashi to the temple's storage room. It was filled with old relics, scrolls, and various artifacts. What do you see here, Takashi? The master asked. Many valuable items, master, Takashi replied. Indeed, Hakuin said, but notice how they gather dust, and used and forgotten. Attachment to material possessions can weigh down the spirit. We often cling to things, believing they bring us happiness, but in reality, they anchor us to suffering. To demonstrate, Hakuin handed Takashi a heavy sack filled with stones and asked him to carry it. As Takashi struggled under the weight, Hakuin said, these stones represent your attachments. Carry them for a while and tell me how you feel. After some time, Takashi grew weary and his shoulders ached. He returned to Master Hakuin and said, the weight is unbearable, Master. I feel relieved only when I set it down, just as you feel relieved now, your mind and soul will find peace when you release your attachments, Hakuin explained. True happiness lies in freedom from materialism and the desire for more, Takashi spent the next few weeks learning to live simply. He gave up many of his possessions, realizing they brought more burden than joy. Gradually, he felt a sense of lightness and contentment he had never known before. The Second Lesson, Letting Go of Anger One day, Master Hakuin took Takashi to a river where the monks often meditated. They sat by the water's edge, listening to the gentle flow. Takashi, do you ever feel anger? Hakuin asked, Yes, Master, Takashi admitted. There are times when I feel intense anger towards others and even myself, anger is like a storm, Hakuin said. It can cloud your mind and obscure your judgment. It is destructive, both to you and to those around you. To be truly happy, you must learn to let go of anger, Hakuin handed Takashi a small wooden boat and asked him to place it in the water. The boat floated gently on the surface. Now, stir the water, Hakuin instructed. Takashi did as he was told, 
creating ripples that rocked the boat. This is what anger does to your mind, Hakwin said. It disturbs your peace and balance. But observe how the water eventually returns to stillness. Over the following months, Takashi practiced mindfulness and meditation, learning to recognize and release his anger. Whenever he felt anger rising, he would recall the image of the boat and the still waters. He found that by letting go of anger, he could respond to situations with calm and clarity, leading to deeper, more meaningful relationships and a profound sense of inner peace. The third lesson, letting go of control. One morning, Master Hakwin invited Takashi to join him on a walk through the forest surrounding the temple. As they walked, Hakwin spoke of the impermanence of life and the futility of trying to control everything. Takashi, Hakwin said, do you often try to control the outcomes of your endeavors? Yes, Master, Takashi replied. I feel anxious when things don't go as planned, control is an illusion, Hakwin explained. Life is like this forest path, unpredictable and ever-changing. The more you try to control it, the more you suffer. To be genuinely happy, you must learn to accept uncertainty and trust in the natural flow of life. Hakwin led Takashi to a clearing where a beautiful lotus pond lay. See these lotuses, he said. They bloom naturally, without anyone controlling their growth. They adapt to their environment and flourish. You must learn to be like the lotus, Takashi spent the next year embracing this philosophy. He relinquished his need for control, allowing life to unfold naturally. He found that by letting go, he could face challenges with resilience and grace. The anxiety that once plagued him diminished, replaced by a serene acceptance of life's unpredictability. The fourth lesson, letting go of ego. One day, Master Hakwin took Takashi to the temple's hall of mirrors. Look into these mirrors, Takashi, Hakwin instructed. What do you see? I see myself, Master, Takashi replied. The ego is like these mirrors, Hakwin said. It reflects a distorted image of who we truly are. It craves recognition and validation, leading to a false sense of self. To find true happiness, you must let go of your ego, Hakwin explained that the ego feeds on pride, comparison, and the need for approval. It separates us from others and creates suffering. When you release the ego, Hakwin said, you connect with your true self and the world around you, Takashi began practicing humility and selflessness. He engaged in acts of kindness without seeking recognition and focused on the collective well-being rather than personal gain. Over time, he discovered a profound sense of unity and interconnectedness with all beings. The joy he found in selflessness far surpassed the fleeting satisfaction of ego-driven pursuits. The fifth lesson, letting go of fear. For the final lesson, Master Hakwin led Takashi to a cliff overlooking the vast ocean. The view was both breathtaking and intimidating. Fear is like this cliff, Hakwin said. It can paralyze you, preventing you from experiencing the fullness of life. To be genuinely happy, you must learn to let go of fear, Hakwin explained that fear often stems from the unknown and the fear of loss. It confines us within invisible walls, limiting our potential. Look at the ocean, Hakwin said. It is boundless and fearless, embracing the unknown with each wave. You must cultivate such fearlessness, Takashi spent many months confronting his fears. He ventured beyond his comfort zones, took risks, and embraced new experiences. He found that by facing his fears head-on, he could dismantle the barriers that once held him back. 
This newfound courage allowed him to live fully and authentically, embracing each moment with openness and joy. Years passed, and Takashi continued to live at the Temple of Tranquil Waters, embodying the lessons he had learned. He had let go of attachment, anger, control, ego, and fear, finding within himself a wellspring of genuine happiness and peace. One day, Master Hakuin called Takashi to the garden beneath the cherry tree where their journey had begun. Takashi, Hakuin said with a warm smile, you have grown into a wise and compassionate being. You have discovered the path to genuine happiness. Takashi bowed deeply, gratitude filling his heart. Thank you, Master, for your guidance and wisdom. I now understand that true happiness is not something to be sought outside, but cultivated within. Hakuin nodded. Indeed, Takashi. Happiness is a state of being, not a destination. By letting go of what does not serve us, we create space for peace, joy, and true fulfillment. As Takashi looked around the tranquil garden, he felt a profound sense of contentment. The journey he had embarked upon had transformed him, revealing the boundless happiness that lay within. He vowed to share these teachings with others, spreading the light of Master Hakuin's wisdom far and wide, and so, the lessons of the Temple of Tranquil Waters continue to inspire generations, guiding countless souls on the path to genuine happiness. In letting go, they found themselves, and in finding themselves, they discovered the true essence of joy. Thanks for watching. Hope enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Just click the subscribe button below and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Also, feel free to leave a comment and let me know what you'd like to see next. See you in the next video.